Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to make a pie crust that we can use for quiche or for a sweet pie, like pumpkin pie or apple pie or pecan pie. Um, and here's how we make it. We're starting, so this is going to be crust for a nine inch pie plate. So we'll start with a cup and a half of almond meal. We'll add a dash of salt. Mix that up a little. And we'll add a few tablespoons of coconut oil. So we're starting with about two tablespoons. And likely I will add a third tablespoon here. I'm going to test it by pressing it together. It holds together pretty well. There's probably enough oil. So I'll go ahead and pour it into the pre-greased 9-inch pie plate. I've greased the pie plate with coconut oil as well. And spread it around so you have an even um, thickness along the bottom and along the sides. If you make it too thin along the sides, they'll burn before the rest of the pie is done. And usually pies that I use this pie crust for, I will tend to bake at about 325 because um, this almond meal doesn't really like the hotter temperatures. The almonds will burn and or at least the top of the crust will. So you can see it's just kind of lightly um, tapped up to the sides all the way around. Fairly even. And I pat it up in a little more firm on the bottom. You want that to pull together nicely when you're serving the pie. Okay. So there's our pie crust. If you're not going to use it right away, stick it in the refrigerator. No problem. It'll keep for a long time because it has the coconut oil in it. Um, so there that is. Okay, so to make the filling part of the quiche, we're going to take six eggs and beat them up with a whisk or a fork. The quiche we're making today is the tomato basil quiche. So it's a very quick, easy one to put together. So there are our eggs. I'm going to add a half a cup of coconut milk. And a pinch of salt. And we will um, sprinkle a little fresh basil for the this as well. What are you talking about? Do you need some basil? Do you need some basil? Um, I'm also going to do a sprinkle of oregano, of dried oregano on here. And a dash of garlic powder. Essie's getting sad. We have to hurry up and finish. <laughs> we have the, un the oven preheated to 325. And we're just going to pour our egg mi mixture over this. And put it in the oven. about 25 to 30 minutes and when it comes out it'll be all puffed up and brown and delicious.